And this is for the first four things that I would mention. He said, I heard the messenger of Allah saying, وَجَبَتْ مَحَبَّتِ لِلْمُتَحَابِينَ فِي وَالْمُتَجَالِسِينَ فِي وَالْمُتَزَاوِرِينَ فِي وَالْمُتَبَاذِلِينَ فِي Four categories of people. If you want Allah to love you, at least try to be a part of these four categories. He said the first one, first one, Allah said, Allah made wajib upon himself that he will love everyone that loves another person for the sake of Allah. I repeat, Allah made wajib upon himself that he would love anyone who loved another person for the sake of Allah. Let me ask you this question. How many people truly that you love him or her for the sake of Allah? I gave this, this, this lecture once long time ago in, in, in the University of Calgary in Canada. So the brother, I said, the, I said at the hadith, and one of the brother after the talk, he said, Sheikh, I really, really, really enjoyed your talk. I said, MashaAllah. And I said, do you have anybody that you love for the sake of Allah? He said, brother, I, I do. I do. And I said, what is his name? He said, her name is Jennifer. <laughs> I said, she's a Muslim. She's your wife. She's your sister, uh, definitely, that I could not. He said, no. But inshallah, make dua, she would accept Islam one day. I said, so what, how do you love her for the sake of Allah? She's not even a Muslim. How do you, she he said, Rashir, she sits right next to me in the class. MashaAllah. He said, Noor of Iman is coming out of her face. <laughs> Noor of Iman. I said, hey, brother, you just told me she's not a Muslim. He said, I can tell from her heart. Every time that I ask her a question and she smiles, Wallahi, I can see the Iman through her heart, mashallah. I said, that is not what the hadith means. That's definitely what the hadith means. Hadith means you'll find somebody who's righteous. Someone who's there before you at the masjid. Someone who have more taqwa than you know of yourself. Someone who studies the deen for the sake of Allah. Someone who gives sadaqah. That's the one that you love him for the sake of Allah. Not Jennifer. Radiyallahu <laughs> anha. Not Jennifer, no. Somebody that you care about because of his deen. Because the Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam fi musnadi Ahmed in hadith Umar bin Khattab. Look what he said about the categories of people. He said on the day of Yawm al-Qiyamah, there would be people who are so close to Allah. So close to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And then the anbiya, the nabis and the shaheed. And you know what Nabi is, and you know what Shaheed is. Nabi is someone who is guided by Allah. Shaheed is someone who gave his soul for the sake of Allah. The Nabi and the Shaheed, would, they would say to themselves, what did they do to deserve that status? They are that close to Allah. What did they do to deserve that status? So one of the Sahaba said, Ya Rasulullah, what did they do? The messenger of Allah, he said, there are people who loved one another only for the sake of Allah, without any blood ties and without any business transaction. Just for the sake of Allah. So I ask yourself, do you know four people, five people that you love them for the sake of Allah? Don't say, I love Saeed Al-Qadi, I love Mufti Mink. That's a, TV screen love. 
That's a screen love. You really don't love this ulama. I know you love them, but you don't know what we do, right? You never lived with them. You can't be, you know, living with somebody that much, mashallah. I'm sorry, you can be, you can live with somebody that much, and then you say, I learn from the sake of Allah. Not just because you watch his lecture. Wallahi. That's a mashallah. One of the sisters. She said, uh, I love that Sheikh for the sake of Allah. I said, sure. I said, why do you love him? She said, he's always, mashallah, always smiling. I said, tabarakallah, what else? He always says, Allah and Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. I said, do you think when these days, when they go home, they just talk the way we talk. You know, have you ever seen me getting up from my bed? You will run for your life. <laughs> I feel sorry for my wife. When I get up in the morning, no one should talk to me until I have my cup, my cup of coffee. And then if the kids run around in my mind, I say, like, why did I have them? And then in my mind, I said, like, where can I donate them? Nobody would take them. <laughs> but you think you see them on the screen and you say, oh, I love him for the sake of Allah. He's a nice sheikh. No, that is the, not the love. that would Find four or five people that you really love them for the sake of Allah. That's the first category. The second category, he said, those who will sit together for the sake of Allah. For the sake of Allah. Not for political reasons, not for business transactions, not for social events, not for a wedding, not for a chit chat, but you sit together for the sake of Allah. You know, Umar ibn Abdul Aziz, radiyallahu an, he used to say, Umar ibn Abdul Aziz, after he finished the work of the government, he used to bring righteous individuals and used to say, let us sit and remember Allah. Let us remember Akhirah. Those are the people who deserved his love. So that's the second. Third category of people, people who will, you visit them for the sake of Allah. Not that you from the Jama'at Tabligh, you know, you know, you know, not you because you're Tabligh and you just visit Muslims. No, someone you say, you know, I know where Sayyid Al Qadi lives. I don't want business from him, I don't want a favor from him, I just want to visit, visit him for the sake of Allah. I'm visiting. No other business, no other intention, only for the sake of Allah. Do you have that? Then you're good. The fourth category, he said, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, Wal Mutabadilina fi, those who will give for the sake of Allah. Give. And not only money, but sometimes you just yourself give of your time. For the sake of Allah. And Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, he said, وَلَا أَنْ أَمْشِ مَعَ أَخٍ فِي حَاجَةٍ أَحَبَّ إِلَيَّ مِنَ نَعْتَكِفَ فِي مَسْجِدِ هَذَا الشَّهْرَ He said, for me to help my brother, you know, one little thing is more beloved to me than doing i'tikab in my masjid. So that's number four.